So here we go. We'll have my favorite student, good old Anne. A five kilogram object is pulled at a constant speed. Humbly, I suggest that's probably important. By a horizontal 12 Newton force as shown in the diagram below. What's the coefficient of friction between the object and the surface? So it looks like this question is asking me to find, hey, what's mu? I don't know, what's mu with you? I think that probably means it's a job for a good free body diagram. I have gravity down. I have normal force up. I know those two are the same because there's no other vertical forces in this picture. I have, typically we've started calling this the applied force. We have friction. Why did I underline constant speed? What does that tell me? Yeah, forces are balanced. So that gives me a shortcut. Megan, I can actually say I know that the applied force has to equal friction. You could go, who's winning that? Who's losing that? But it would be equal zero. And trust me, when you do that equation, you'll get that. How big is the applied force, Megan? As a number. Yep. And then I would say friction equals what times what? Mu times the normal force. That's good because I'm trying to find mu. How would I get the mu by itself, Ryan? What's the Fn doing to, the, what's the normal force doing to the mu? At, so how will I move it over? So if I hear you correctly, and I think I do, you're telling me mu is going to be 12 divided by the normal force? I don't know the normal force. Yeah. Oh, but look, 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 look. I know another force the same size as the normal force. Which force is the same size as the normal force, Ryan, my friend? Mg. Yep. Right? Has to be. Otherwise, it'll be, this is my, is it sinking into the ground like quicks? Is it flying into the suit? Man, what I'm really telling you is, uh, if that's not occurring, up and down have to cancel each other out. Everything up equals everything down. You okay with that? So I can say uh, 12 divided by 5 times 9.8. So it's going to be 12 divided by 5 times 9.8. Uh, mm -hmm. OK, that's a strange error. Let's try that again. OK, that's the problem. Let's use this calculator until I figure out what's going on. You got another calculator, Mr. Dewitt? Yeah, but I don't like this one as much. 12 divided by bracket 5 times 9.8. 0.24, uh, A. Yes? Uh, how many marks? Two marks! Why two marks for a multiple choice question? Because it took some work to get there. Is that okay? I like that question, I like that question, I like that question. There's going to be a question on your test where I say, hey, what's mu? What's mu with you? A free-falling object accelerating downwards experiences a force due to air resistance of 1.4. So it's freely falling. And you know what? I need to change the wording on this because what I really need to say is not accelerating downwards. I need to say falling downwards because even on your way up, which way are you accelerating? Down. Now, I'm going to assume that everybody assumed that it was going down. So my free body diagram would look like this. Gravity down and air resistance slowing it down a little bit. We said we'll ignore air resistance unless the question mentions air resistance. This one does. So I think we're going to get this. Winner minus loser equals MA. Cohen, what does this question want me to find? Um, oh, how would I get the A by itself? Um, divide. divide what? More nouns, less pronouns. Divide both sides by? Yeah, that's all I'm looking for. Divide by M, okay? Don't overcomplicate this. So if I hear you correctly, you're saying I can do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to do that on the next line. A equals the MG would drop down. The F air would drop down. Divided by M, it's going to be uh, M. 0.62 times 9.8 minus 1.4. All over 0.62. Oh, I got to use my least favorite calculator. 0.62 times 9.8 minus 1.4, close bracket, divided by 0.62. I get 7.54, is that right? I knew the answer would be less than 9.8 because there's air resistance 
slowing it down. Is that right? 7.54? I take, by the way, I take 7.5, I take 7.54, I'd take 7.542. I'd be fussy if you wrote 7.541. I'd say, oh, for Pete's sake, this is not round off properly. My rule of thumb, when in doubt, I go to three sig figs. 7.54. 7.54 what? Units. Okay. If you got that, you get two out of two. Otherwise, I think I would go something like this. Half mark for that, half mark for that, half mark for that, and a half mark for the answer. I wouldn't give you a half mark for the free body diagram, but hopefully I'm convincing you that that's such a handy tool that the one second it takes to draw it really makes your life easy. I know when I'm marking the homework, I see some people and they're clearly trying to do this all in your head. You're setting yourself up to make mistakes for that one second it takes to do a good free body diagram. Next page over. Courtney, what kind of a force are we asked to find in number three? Loud and proud? What I'm really saying is you can probably go straight to F equals MA. Okay. Did they give you the mass in this question? Yeah. Did they give you the acceleration in this question? Not yet. Well, so even though this said find the net force, I think I'm going to spend most of my time finding the acceleration. And it looks like I have VI equals 0, VF equals 15, D equals 85. I think I can start with VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD. I think I can go A equals VF squared minus VI squared all over 2D. I think I can go 15 squared minus 0 squared all over 2 times 85. That's going to give me an acceleration of, oh, got someone else coming in. Right click, pause the video. Uh, it's going to be bracket 15 squared minus 0 squared, which I probably didn't need to type, divided by bracket 2 times 85. I get an acceleration of 1.32352. I'm going to write 1.32, but I'm going to use my answer button. And now I'm going to take this and plug it over here. Oh, wrong one. It's going to be 1,200 times, where's the answer button on this thing? Right there. Do you get uh, 1588? You know what? I'm going to call it 1,590. I would take 1,600 to two sig figs, but I'm going to write it as 1,590 newtons. If you got that, two out of two. Otherwise, I would probably give something like... Uh, half mark for finding the acceleration. I would probably give you a half mark if I saw that. I would give you a half mark, yeah, just for writing F equals MA, and a half mark for the answer. Uh, 12 kilogram block initially at rest, I have a feeling that's going to be important, is pulled 16 meters across a floor by a 56 Newton force. Okay, the coefficient of friction is 0.24. What's its final speed? Oh. Wants me to find V final. Okay. Sorry, not VI, Mr. Duke, VF. What else have they told me? Now, I know they've told me the mass, but I don't recall using mass to find V final. So even though they told me that, Ryan, I'm not going to write it down yet. What does at rest tell me? Oh, like that. Oh, D equals 16. You know what? If I can find the acceleration, then I can find V final by using VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD. So even though this question is asking me to find V final, you know I'm going to spend most of my time finding? Acceleration. By the way, I think I like number four. I think I like in, in that in, on your test, I guarantee either I'm going to make you find acceleration using forces and then do something with it, finding VF or VRD. Or I think I like example three. I think I might ask you to do something with finding VF, VRD, and then use that to plug in the acceleration for forces and find mu or something like that. 
Okay. I need a free body diagram. What are the forces acting on this? I got gravity down, normal force up. Here's the applied force. Here's friction. Who's winning? I think it's accelerating to the right. I think friction. So I'm going to go friction. No, it's friction, not friction. I think applied force. Did I say friction? Applied force minus friction equals ma. Cohen, how would I get the a by itself? That's what we're looking for. Look at that with nouns and everything. I like that. Uh, you're going to get the acceleration is the applied force minus friction divided by m. I don't know friction. Oh, it's going to be the apply. How much room have I got here? Did I leave you lots of room? I did. I got one more line. I can go down. The applied force minus friction is what times what? Mu times the normal force. I don't know the normal force. Oh, but look, 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 look. I know another force the same size as the normal force. Ryan, which one? Yeah, yeah. Now, be careful. I think there's going to be one later on. Oh, no. I think there's going to be one on today's take-home quiz where there's another vertical force in the question, so the normal force won't be mg, and I will be putting one of those on your test. Okay? Uh, anyways, uh, I can go mu mg, and now I'm a happy camper. It's going to be 56 minus 0.24 times 12 times 9.8 minus, or sorry, minus, divided by 12, I get an acceleration of, so the reason I don't like this calculator is it doesn't work very well with my mouse. Anyways, 56 minus 0.24 times 12 times 9.8, close bracket, divided by 12. Do you get an acceleration of 2.31466, but that there? I'm going to write 2.31. And now, here we go. Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2ad. What did I really want to find in this question? Vf. Oh, how would I get the Vf by itself from this equation here? And you know what? I can even do that because Vi is 0. Yay! So Vf is going to be the square root of 2 times 2.31. I'm going to use my answer button, times 16. I'm going to go 2 times answer button times 16. Square root of that. Where's the square root on the square root answer button? Whew. You get 8.6, 8.61 if I go to three sig figs. 8.61 meters per second. If you got that, Matt, I'll give you three out of three. Otherwise, I would do something like this. I would almost certainly give you a half mark if I saw that equation. I would give you one whole mark for finding the acceleration because it seems to me that that's half of the job. I would probably give you one whole mark for that, and I would give you a half mark if I saw that equation there. I think that adds to three. And then I would turn the page. Mr. Duick, what Lydia? Who was the artist that drew that spectacular skier? Mr. Duick, I almost found it distracting. It was so, well, thank you, Lydia. I'm quite proud of that. I, I, I drew that. Okay. I thought. <sighs> I like number five. I like number five. I like number five. What do I mean by that? Courtney, on your test, I guarantee I'm going to give you an applied force, a coefficient of friction, and say find the acceleration. Although on your test, I might even add another vertical force in some way. This one here, to me, is a little bit too plug and chuggish, but barely. So I might leave it this way on the test. Anyways, let's go skiing. Uh, Cross-country skiers moving horizontally. The co what's her acceleration? What are the forces acting on this skier? Get the obvious one. Gravity down. Normal force up. 
Um, I guess I'm, you could call this a uh, pole. It's the applied force. And uh, friction. Okay. By the way, who skis? No one anymore? Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, ski or snowboard? Who snowboards? Okay, so for, for both of them, uh, in skiing, the, slow pa the snow plow stop or in the snowboard when you turn your board perpendicular, all you're doing is increasing the force of friction. That's how you bring yourself to a stop, which, again, you figure it out very quickly or you face plant, but there's the physics of it. Okay? It also means I have given you the simplified version of friction because when you're snowboard and you turn your ski, your snowboard perpendicular, have you changed mu? No, because it's still a snowboard and it's still the snow. Have you changed your mass? No. There's actually a more complicated version that looks at the angle that you hold the board, because I think you also, you tilt the board, you push down on it. Yeah, we can, we can, there's black holes of we can really dive down into how complicated we want to get into all of these forces. I'm giving you the physics 11. Here's the introduction to Newton's laws forces. Hey, Lindsay, who's winning? I oh, know I caught you with your eyes closed. My bad. Who's winning? Who's losing? And that equals MA. Um, they want the acceleration. That's going to be the applied force minus friction. Cohen wants me to say divide by the mass. I don't know friction. It's going to be the applied force minus mu times the normal force. I don't know the normal force. Oh, but look, 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 look. I know another force the same size as the normal force. In this case, it's going to be mg. So it's going to be, what was the applied force? 110 newtons minus mu. 0.47. That's lousy snow. They're cross-country skiing. No, not 0 0.47. 0 0.11. Huh. That's better, Snow. Uh, the mass is 47. I read that as a mu. Good gosh, read my own writing, Mr. Duick. Uh, times 9.8 divided by 47. Bracket 110 minus 0 0.11 times 47 times 9.8 divided by 47. You get 1.26, 1.3 units. It's an acceleration meters per second squared. If you got that, three out of three. Otherwise, I would probably do something like this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd probably do something like uh, a half mark if I saw that. I'd give you one whole mark because that, to me, is the equation. You've got the A by itself. Half mark, half mark for the numbers half mark for the answer. Again, John, this time I didn't give you marks for the free body diagram, but I would argue that's really what was the key to solving this lovely question. Last one. Hey, what phrase would I underline mentally or actually in number six? That's going to be important. A box sits on the floor. They're talking about a coefficient of friction. You know what, Alex? I think I want to do a free body diagram. What are the forces acting on this? Gravity down. Normal force up. Applied force. How long should I draw the friction arrow compared to the applied force? Bigger, smaller, or the same size? Why same size? Steady speed. I wouldn't take marks off if you didn't do that, but you'd probably get the wrong equation if you didn't do that. Because it turns out who's winning? It's a trick question. It's a tie. The forces are, I'm looking for a word that begins with letter B, balanced. So I can say I can say I can say, I don't know the normal force, oh, but look, 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 look. I don't know the force, same size as the normal force. In this case, mu mg. So what's mu? I don't know, what's mu with you? 0.32, 20 
times 9.8 0.32 times 20 times 9.8. I probably could have done that one in my head if I'd really put my mind to it. 62.7, 62.72, 63. I would take that if you round it to two sig figs, which technically I should probably do. I'll go 62.7. 62.7 what? Newtons, it's a force. If you got that, three out of three. Otherwise, I'd probably give you one whole mark for that because that's the key. Half mark, half mark, one mark, and there's your three marks. Can you give yourself a loverly score, please, out of, is it out of 15? Okay. Any lawyering with me, now is the time. So questions from lesson five, you all said lesson six went okay. They want me to find mu. I think this is probably a job for a free body diagram. Uh, M1G, yes? Normal force one, tension, and I'm pretty sure friction is going that way. You okay with that? Uh, M2G, tension. Okay. Who's winning? M2G. So we have minus tension, plus tension, minus friction force number one, and that's going to be M1 plus M2 times A. Are you relaxed? I am. I love it when I lose tension. So I now have this. M2G minus equals M1 plus M2 times... I left it... Oh, friction is what times what? See, now I can put that in because at least now uh, what I'm trying to find has showed up. Although I don't like it. What's right in front of the mu? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think we've done this dance before. I'm going to move that there. I'm going to minus that whole thing there. You okay with that? So I'm going to get the M2G drops down like a domino. Now there's going to be a minus bracket M1 plus M2 times A. And that's going to equal mu times normal force number one. How would I get the mu by itself? Divide by normal force number one. So in the interest of time, I'm going to do that. What did you say I'm going to divide by? I don't know normal force number one. Oh, but look, 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 look. I know another force the same size as normal force number one. That's it. Now I pause and I say, in all honesty, did I do anything new there? I was stubborn and clever. Went to a free body diagram, didn't panic. I said, well, if I need mu, I better replace friction with mu times a normal force. Oh, and I was extra careful because this was yucky. And that I can do. Is that okay? I, I think you can take it from there. Uh, is it a fraction? Yeah. Brackets around the top and brackets in the middle. Or you might even add M1 plus M2, 5 plus 6.5. You could just put an 11.5 right there and get that in your head if you're really lazy like me. It's doable. Um, hey, what if I told you that it was at rest? What if it wasn't sliding? What would the minimum coefficient be? Well, then there'd be a zero there, which means you'd have a much nicer equation. You wouldn't have minus n. You just have m2g divided by m1g. That'd be even easier. Yeah. Uh, coefficient. Coefficient. Nice. So you got the acceleration OK? In fact, the trick to get the acceleration, treat that like a 14. Okay, so you got the 3.6. All right. Well, they're talking about the two kilogram mass. You know what, Prith? By the way, let me pause. Anybody get number seven? Nice, really? Because my other class is only one person, so this, is, this has been by far the record. I'm gonna start and partway through, you're gonna go, if I've done my job right, oh, what are the forces acting on the two kilogram mass? Get the obvious one. I agree. What else? I agree. Now I'm not sure. Which way is it accelerating? To the? So there has to be a force to the right. Is it the rope? Say no. You know how I know it's not the rope? 
because the rope ain't touching it. What force is accelerating it to the right? That's the key to this question. Mass is not a force. What force is accelerating it to the right? And then I used my imagination and I said, hey, Prith, imagine that between the 2 and the 12 was ice. Could you not yank the 12 right out and the 2 would just poof? What force is accelerating that 2 to the right then? Gravity's straight down. What force is accelerating it to the right? Trevor. Yes! That's the key. Turns out what's moving the 2 to the right, if I just look at that, is friction. Which is good because what was this question asking me to find? Mu. Does friction contain a mu? Oh, thank God. I'm glad that is. So, Prith, that's it. Who's winning? Who's losing? Trick question. You get friction equals ma. Which a? That a. And now mu times the normal force. Get the mu. See if you can get the mu by itself. That's the key. It's kind of a neat one that way. Mr. Derek, is there going to be one that ha ha the tap? Courtney, relax now. But it's cool. Anybody for number twelve? Number twelve. Okay. So I told you I took this from an old scholarship exam, okay? And actually, the scholarship exam only asked part D. It didn't walk you through everything. Who got number 12, anybody? Ooh, I got some good nerds here. Th I'm impressed. I only had one student get number 12 in my other three blocks. Well played. I got to do A to do the rest. So it says draw a free body diagram. Uh, here's the box. Here's the elevator. Andy, what are the forces acting on the box? Get the obvious one. What else? A rope is touching the box? Then no tension. Oh, because it's sitting on a scale. And I know a scale measures normal force. Uh, is the normal force going to be bigger, smaller, or the same size as mg? Which way is the box accelerating? Which way is the elevator accelerating? Is the box in the elevator? So which way is the box accelerating? So am I going to draw normal force bigger, smaller, or the same size as mg? See it? OK, that, that, that's the next chain of reasoning. So who's winning? Who's losing? Normal force. I would argue I can use this to find the acceleration of the box. Is the box in the elevator? Yep. Then I've just found the acceleration of the elevator. Have I not? If the box is in the elevator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's draw a free body diagram for the elevator. What are the forces acting on it? Get the obvious one. Uh, you know what? I'll call it big M. That's a trick we'll often do. The bigger mass will use a capital M. The smaller mass will use a lowercase m. So any physics nerd glances at that and knows little m is the box and big M is the elevator. You could also call them M1 and M2. I just don't want to get them mixed up. What else? Friction, which way? Bigger, smaller, or the same size as big MG? Which way is it accelerating? Which way is it accelerating? Smaller than then. If it's accelerating, I, I phrase this very carefully. It accelerates downwards. It's slowed slightly. What we're saying is it's not accelerating at 9.8. It's accelerating. By the way, you're going to get an answer less than 9.8. OK? With me so far? Who's winning? It's asking you to find the friction force. What's right in front of the friction force? No, right in front of the friction force. Yeah, we've done this dance before, you and I, have we not? OK? So you're going to get this. Friction is going to end up being friction is going to end up being the mass of the elevator and its contents, which I think is what it gave me. G minus the mass of the elevator and its contents times a. Which a? Yeah. yeah again, if I do my job right, part way through, there's going to be a. Uh, 
Any others? So what are we working on today?